what's up guys welcome to my next video and this video I want to do something I was wanted to do for a long time is show you my favorite horror movies that I love that I never get tired of watching and these are the movies that kind of um, scared me as a kid and kind of scared me now so I just want to show this off so let me let's get to it so the first stuff I want to show off is the Shining. Now this film is absolutely great. I mean, I love this film. Uh, my wife and I love it. And it's just a great film. The atmosphere, the music, the color, everything. It's just awesome. I mean, about a guy that goes with his family to the motel that's haunted and on a, on a, on a winter. So, here's the spine. Here's the back. What a great film this is. It's just an awesome film. Next up is The Howling, which is one of my favorite horror um, werewolf films that I mentioned in, in, in the, the other video that I made my favorite um, werewolf films. So this one I want to include because it's actually a good one and it's my favorite. So it's a great film. And when I met Dee Wallace, she signed it for me. The one of the best werewolf movies ever made. I completely agree. This is actually the only one I really love. Great film. And John Carpenter's The Fog. I love this film as well. And I saw this when I was a kid. And every time I see a fog bank, I just get freaked out. I was kind of imagine, imagining this ghost in the fog. So it always sticks with me, this film. It's good. Some people don't like it, but I love it. The Spine. And here's the back with Jimmy Lee Curtis when she was young. And let me go through these real quick. Uh, here we go. Uh, the original Friday the 13th. And for you guys who don't know, it's not Jason that's killing. It's actually Jason's mother. Um, Pamela Voorhees, I think her name is. Yeah, Pamela Voorhees. This is awesome. And actually, Kevin Bacon also comes out in this film. He came on Tremors. Um, a lot of good video, uh, A lot of good movies, actually. Footloose, stuff like that. The Spine. The Back. This movie is actually great. I just love this one. And the second one, of course, is I like the first four movies of this franchise. And the second one is where Jason first comes out, comes out for revenge. The spine. There's the bag. There's the mother's head. And there's Jason with a potato sack. And the third one, when he first gets his hockey mask. It was supposed to be in 3D back in the day. The spine. And here's the back. Great film. And Carrie with uh, Cici Spacek. I'm sorry, Cici Spacek and John Travolta. Great film. It is actually uh, Stephen King's first books that he actually wrote. That he didn't like, so he threw it away. And his wife found it and took it to a publisher and became a number one bestseller. Lucky her. If it wasn't for her, this movie wouldn't even be been made. And let me go through. Here we go. The Night of the Living Dead. The original one. This movie is the best zombie movie ever made. What a great film. I love this one. George Romero. May I rest in peace. Spine. And here's the back. The complete classic. It is awesome. Great film. And you know, I really love the re the remake of this film. It's actually a great remake. It really was creepy, like the original. The music score in this movie is really good. Um, Tom Savini, who directed this film, really knows how to make it creepy. And so, yeah, I, I just love it. The spine, the back. I mean, look at that. Look at this. Look at that picture. It looks awesome. I mean, in the beginning, when they go to the cemetery, like a normal day, and terrorists start to strike. I mean, that's awesome. And the people on the stairs and Shocker double feature. They're great movies. I just love it. Shocker is great. The people on the stairs is great. The spine. Here's the back. Great films. In the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, this movie never gets old. This is a complete classic. Um, Marlene, uh, I'm sorry, um, Marilyn 
Burns, who plays Sally, she signed this for me. And I made uh, I met um, Leatherface from this movie, and they were both great. They were both nice to people, and they both passed away. And may rest in peace to them both. I met them in a horror convention, and they were they were so great. Spine. There's the back. Yeah, that's her. I met and I met him. Gunnar Hansen. That's his name. There you go. Who played the original Leatherface? And the original Halloween, I know I mentioned this in my first videos, but I have to include this one because this one scared me as well. The mask of this movie, I mean, Michael Myers' mask in this film, it's really creepy, very scary to this day. And they were showing it last night in AMC, and what a great film. The spine, here's the bag, there he is. Just great, fantastic film. And actually, the second one was actually good too. I mean, the mask of this film is great as well. Great sequel. It takes place in the same night. The spine. Here's the back. And last but not least is the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, this film is great. I mean, I like it how Freddy Krueger is in this film. Really, really dark. A little dark humor. And the first one is always the best when Wes Craven. And Johnny Depp also comes out in this film. This is his first film. The back, here's the spine. And here's the back. The film, the original, it's always the best. The rest were like, eh, whatever. But this film, really great. So there you go. Here's all my favorite films. My horror films for right now. But there's so many that I like that I haven't included in here. But there's so many of them. So maybe next time I should do a part two. For, for now, I'm just going to show you these, and yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys my favorite uh, uh, scary movie, so why not? So thank you guys for watching, give subscribe, like, and see you guys in the next video.